in this video we are going to see how to implement this kind of tree structure in our program codes so for that I'm going to take an example of a binary tree and we are going to see how we will implement that This is going to be the binary tree I am going to implement. Now, we can implement binary trees using the concept of a linked list. So, the first thing we are going to do is just like a linked list, we are going to store our data elements in nodes. So, A is going to have a node and so are all the other data elements. Now every node is going to have a left and a right pointer. The left pointer of a node will point to the left child of that node and the right pointer of that node will point to the right child of that node. When a node does not have a right or a left child, then the respective pointer will be set to null. So this is a basic idea of how to implement a tree using a linked list. Now one variation to this is when we also store or keep track of the parent of a node. So this is the basic idea but one variation is B keeps track of the left child and the right ch sub child of B but in this variation we will also have a pointer which points to the parent so that when we have a node B we'll know all the information of that node. We'll know its children and we will know the parent. So I'm giving the variation in red. Sometimes nodes not only keep track of the left and the right child of the node, but it will also keep track of the parent node. It will also have a pointer which points to the parent node. This is not necessary in your program, but it will make a lot of the functions and the programming a lot easier if you keep track of the parent node of every node in the tree. So what I'm giving in red that this parent thing is definitely optional. It does not stop being a tree if the nodes do not keep track of the parent, but it's going to be a recommended practice because it will make your programs and your functions easier to write. So this is how you implement a binary tree using a linked list. We have the data element in nodes. Each node has the data element and keeps track of the left subchild with a left pointer, keeps track of the right subchild with a right pointer. And if necessary, we can also keep track of the parent using a parent pointer.